hello everyone in this video let us uh, use a script now to get a list of uh, all the projects in your jira instance and not just uh, the projects but also other things like uh, maybe issue types and uh, few other aspects re related to the projects so Right now I have a Jira instance where I have three projects, which is of course uh, uh, not a lot, but that is not the point. Uh, we want to basically use the script now to get the, get the list of projects and we also want to see what all we can do with it. So right now I have three projects and uh, if I go to my script now, uh, script that I'm writing in IntelliJ, which is of course connected to my Jira and I will be using uh, the same script in the console. Now, for working with projects, you can use uh, get project manager or rather project manager, which is um, which is something that you can uh, use when you are using component accessor. So if you have been following my videos on a script runner, I'm sure by now you have uh, realized that component accessor is really important. You can do a lot of things with it. Uh, and today, of course, we'll be doing the same thing. Using Component Accessor, we'll be working on uh, a script that will fetch us the list of projects, but we'll, we'll also see what all we can do with it. Now, I'm using a variable called uh, Project Manager, where I want to see what all I can do with this. So if I press dot, I can uh, see that there is a method, or rather I should see, uh, I can use get uh, projects hopefully let us see so there is a method called get projects and it will basically return a list of all the projects that I have so I'm using this uh, Groovy script called get projects but I'll, uh, but of course you can use the script tab here to type your script so I'm using the file tab because I want to write my scripts in uh, IntelliJ it is definitely much faster so you you can see here that it will return the you know the the the, the, three proje the three projects that we have. Now what all we can do with this? It's a list of the project objects, I guess. But we can uh, do things like uh, if I do each, and if I basically want to iterate over these uh, different projects. I can maybe take a look at something like uh, let let me use log dot debug so I can print something uh, log dot debug and uh, I want to see something like you know the key I, I I want to retrieve the key of those uh, projects um, I'll probably use something like this here so that I can uh, log dot debug comma you know just just to have some you know separation so if i run this it won't really display something here but i can take a look at the log and it will display something like this which is fine uh which is something that we wanted to display uh let us not even worry about the uh comma because it is displaying in the uh in a separate line so we have th three project keys now uh, apart from key we can uh, do few things like maybe maybe i want to see what else i can do with this project so the next thing that i want to check is uh, get issue types so this can be uh, this can be useful if you want to know the issue types for this particular uh, project you can do that and uh, let me run this let me run this and if, if i just want to see so it, it will basically return the issue type um it is basically a list of issue types and you can definitely fetch the name of those issue types you know just uh to just for just to focus on the name not really each and everything like maybe get do we have name here So let me just go back and take a look. So if, if I look at this, it, it is basically name is task. And uh, oh, so 
it is again a list. So when you do this get issue types, it will be a list. So you need to do something like star dot name. So it will now give you the the individual names of those issue types for that particular project, something like this. So this looks really good because uh, now I can uh, do some analysis and uh, maybe this is something that you need for doing some automation. So you can do that. Let us see what else we can do. Um, we can also do, th I'm just checking what, I, what all I can do with project manager, uh, with the project object. So we may want to know the name, which is fine. We know the key. So issue types is good. It is a collection of issue types. Uh, we can also take a look at the collection, the components. This can be important. So this this is really uh, interesting. Let us see. Let us see if, if we can uh, get components star dot name. And uh, of course, we'll do the same thing that we did earlier. If I run this, it will give us the components. So we do have some components in, su in some projects, not all, all the projects. Uh, so let us continue doing some further analysis. So get, so get components, get class is something uh, we don't really want. Get original key. So you can actually change the issue key of your project. So it will always have the original key. Uh, get name, get project category, maybe not. Get avatar, get description, get email, get lead. Yeah, this can be important. So this is really um, interesting. So right now you see this, uh, you know, this is like depri, like this is not really supported anymore. I mean, not really, uh, I mean, this might not be supported in future. But uh, if you look at this, it says uh, uh, get lead is uh, deprecated. So you can always find something else. Hopefully, let us see if we have something else. Get lead username or get project lead, I guess. Okay, this, this looks fine. So we can get the uh, username or uh, username of the lead. So let us let us run this and uh, see if, if it works because I I may want to know the username of the lead of this project. So we, we are tr trying to get, you know, a lot of information about uh, the project, of course, using script runner, but we are actually using uh, the APIs. So get project lead is something that we have done. We can also take a look at email, let get lead by get lead user by key get project components, get versions. This is something interesting. Star dot name. I, I want to know the versions in a specific project. So right now we don't have any, but in one of the project we do have, you know, some versions, which is uh, good to know. Log dot debug get. So we were looking at uh, get versions. So yeah, th I think this is this is it. I, I think this is really in interesting. I mean, uh, anything related to things at the project level, you can uh, always fetch it. Of course, you can also fetch the uh, project category, get project category object, or dot name. And if I run this, it will hopefully give me the project category as well, which is right now null which is fine because uh, uh, we don't really have uh, maybe for some of the so if the project category object is null you can't really do name so you need to basically check if it is if it if it exists already so you can do that by using question mark and uh, let us see if we can run this or not so now we can run this which is great uh, it is of course blank but we can always uh, when we create a project category let me create a project category. Why not create a project category and test uh, if it works? So I'll go to CAD. I'll probably go to the uh, Jira administration, then project categories, and I may want to create uh, maybe something like 
India project India projects maybe UK UK projects so we have to project categories and then uh, then I'll of course change the project uh, and I'll basically assign it to one of the category for all of them let us see how it works so I basically want to show you the category the project category information it's a bit slow and it is going somewhere else but anyways let, let us run this so you can see here that you know the category is also displayed only for of course the project where it is applicable not for everything and uh, this is pretty much it that I wanted to show you today I think using the uh, project manager you can do a lot of things you can fetch a lot of information and this can be really useful when you are maybe doing some migration or maybe when you are trying to do some cleanup maybe you want to know maybe you want to notify the project lead of these projects that are not updated recently so you can you know fetch this information using script runner and you can notify them and you can and of course you can i'm sure you know what all you can do uh, and this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.